Filtering is a simple yet powerful way to analyze data. In this video, we're going to see how we can use the filters and auto filters in Zoho Sheet to quickly find the data what we're looking for. My example in this video will be a sales report of a computer firm. As you can see, this spreadsheet has about 99 rows of sales information, so sorting through it can be a challenge. If you want to isolate, for example, the top 10 customers based on the revenue or even sorting out the customer based on the origin would be hard. But we can use the auto filters in Zoho Sheet which will show us what we want to see and will hide the rest. Filtering doesn't change your data in any way. As soon as we remove the filter, all of your data will reappear exactly the same way it was before. To enable the filters, all you have to make sure is that the top row of each column should have a heading that describes the contents of the column, like this one. The column A is the name of the customer, column B is the location of the customer. It goes on with the product code, quantity, total revenue, month of purchase, and the delivery date. So here's how it works. I'm going to first filter the customers whose location is California. So to turn on the auto filter, you should go to the data tab, which is at the ribbon at the top, and click on filter. Or you can use the shortcut key combination, command shift F for Macintosh and control shift L for Windows computers. As you can see, the auto filter arrow now appears to the right of each column heading. To start the filtering data, I should click the auto filter arrow in the column within the state heading. When I do that, a list is displayed and this list contains each of the items in the column in alphabetical or numeric order so that you can quickly find the item that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to click on California and click OK. Now when I do it, Zoho Sheet hides all the rows on the worksheet except for those that contains the text California in this column. To clear the filter and go back to the main list, you can click on the arrow mark and select clear filter or you can simply use the same combination keys to undo it. If you want to focus on even more specific information, you can filter again on another column and then again on another column and so on. You can click the arrow next to any heading in any column to apply a filter. After filtering by state, for example, you can click the auto filter arrow on the month of purchase column and filter the column to see only the customers who purchased on July. So basically, each filter limits the data to which you can apply the next filter. Zoho Sheet enables you to perform more intricate types of filtering. Two particularly useful types are the top bottom filter and the custom filtering. Let's see how to find the top or the bottom 10 items in a column. With top 10 filters, you can find either the top or the bottom items. In this case, let's use the filter to find out the top 10 customers based on the revenue. So I should go to the arrow and click on top slash bottom. And notice that you're not limited to finding only the top 10 items or only the bottom 10 items. You can choose how many items you want to see. Only one or as many as 500. Let's keep it as 10 for this one and click on OK. And here I have a list of customers who gave us the top 10 revenue. Now let's see how the custom filters work. Using the custom filters, you can filter by text and also date. In this case, I'm going to sort out the customers by delivery date. You have several options to choose from. I'm going to take I'm going to take a list of customers who got the delivery between the dates of um, February 3rd to February 6th. And when I click OK, here's the list. 